Pretty straightforward video today, you guys. I'm gonna show you how to teach your puppy not to pull on the leash. So no marking, barking, sniffing, lunging, none of that stuff. We're gonna give them that really good mental and physical exercise on a structured walk. This is what it looks like. The dog I'm demoing tonight is baby Joey. The last week I've been walking him on a slip lead. I only walked him on this because I wanted him to get used to the leash pressure being up here. So now that he's used to it, he's starting to pull on the leash and he's finding other dogs and cats and birds, everything else interesting. The reason this isn't effective is because if he pulls this way, I'm gonna pull back and there's, even if I just pop this leash, there's no communication. It's just us pulling against each other. Tonight, I'm gonna graduate him to a Herm Springer prong collar. And the reason this is gonna be effective is because when I fit it properly, high and snug, and he goes to pull, all I'm gonna do is say no and give a little pop. I'm just trying to break my dog's mind out of whatever he's focused on and get his focus back on me. So that's all this collar is doing. If that's not enough information for you though, you need to know more about this. Go back and watch my prong collar videos, watch my harness video. I explain in detail what these tools are actually designed for. So I want it up high under those ears, right under that jaw. I'm only gonna give him enough leash for there to be a little bit of slack. If I give him this much leash, now my timing's gonna be off. That's way too much. Just enough so that if he starts to pull out in front of me, I'm gonna feel it. And I'm all I'm gonna do right here with my wrist is give that little flick. That's it, that's all I'm doing. Bump the leash, oh good boy. I'm just barely, barely using two fingers to bump that leash. Just a little tiny flick. He's a little dog, he doesn't need that much pressure. All I'm doing is just doing this, just a little tiny flick. Let's go. So I'm gonna turn, he's looking over there, I'm gonna bump the leash. Good boy. Now he's just starting to follow me. This is all I do, over and over and over. If your dog starts biting at the leash, you've gotta stick with it and you give those little bumps to say no. If they get really bitey, it might be because you're putting too much pressure on them. So you gotta slow yourself down and really take your time. Slack in that leash the whole time. Nothing but slack. So he's going out in front of me. Look where he's at. No. Good boy. Now notice everything I'm doing with Joey. I'm not allowing him to sniff things. I'm not allowing him to mark. We're not stopping if he stops. We're gonna keep moving. The reason being is if I allow those, all I'm saying to him is go ahead and explore and do whatever you want. When you're ready, come follow me. This isn't a time for exploring. That's what hikes and that's what off-leash training is for. Right now we're training structure. I want to build confidence in him by teaching him to follow me so that he knows whatever distractions come our way, don't worry about it. Mom's gonna handle it. Here we go. Another dog across the street. No, I'm gonna catch it before he does anything. No, no, good boy. Nope, no, 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 no. Bump, no, good boy. No, good boy. No, good. Follow me. Nope. Good boy. Good job, buddy. Remember, in the beginning, it's not gonna be perfect, but you will certainly gain control. The more you work with your dog, the more they're gonna start following you. All right, you guys, that's it. Remember, consistency and follow through is everything. Stay consistent with those walks. Follow through when distractions hit. The more you do this, the better relationship you're gonna build with your dog. If this video was helpful for you, please like it, subscribe to this channel if you're not already, and if you hit that notification bell, you will be notified when I upload new videos. Remember, lastly, so important, if you want a better dog, you have to be a better you. That's it, I'll see you guys in the next video.